In today's video, we're back with another brand new method for easy shiny hunting in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. Now, today's video is going to be focusing on getting an easy shiny Tadbulb and Belly Bolt in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to go through all the details in a minute. But as always, just a big shout out to Sukuroto Gaming, who actually discovered this spot for shiny hunting easy Tadbulbs in the game. Now, in in your game you're going to want to head to Glacido Mountain and it is exactly this spot here so you're going to be right next to the Glacido gym but you want to take like a northeast direction away from the gym until you find this sign this is the sign that you're going to be wanting to look for uh, once you're here this is the first step of this method so once you're here you're going to want to set up a picnic to start things off as always you probably want to come to a bit of an area where it's a little bit flatter because of the terrain up here you're going to find it difficult to find a spot to get the picnic set up but if you eventually kind of just try and find some of these flatter areas here you're going to be able to get it set up no trouble at all there we go okay so you, you will have to just move around it is in this kind of dipped area here where you're going to be able to set the picnic up you can set it up elsewhere if you want it's just going to take a little bit of time extra for you to fly to glacido gym and then up to this area but you know if you find it difficult on top of this area to make it then that is another option now i will as always put sandwich recipes on the screen now we are going to need sparkling power level three for electric and that encounter power for electric as well um, but like i say i always link all of the updated most relevant papa hefe recipes let's say in the description down below so you can have a look at the link in the description and get the most relevant sandwich recipes that would be easiest for you because obviously you can mix herba mystica now you don't need to rely on just salty or you know these minimal ingredients but i do prefer minimal ingredients just for these videos just to speed things up there you can see we've got the encounter and sparkling power level three for our electric set up there and that is all we need for this obviously it's worth saving before you start this method just in case you get no luck on your first time out and there's no guarantees obviously it does give you a better chance but you know rng can be rng at some points so once you're here you want to just turn to your left and then you want to head down this mountain here and you'll see two ridges there'll be a ridge to the right and a ridge to the left and you want to head to the ridge to your left here which is the one we're heading towards right now and there'll be a waterfall in the middle and this is the spot that we're going to be using to get our tad bulbs. So if you come over here, you'll notice that the tad bulbs are spawning on the other side of the waterfall here. So they're just going to keep spawning in as well. Now you can put your camera on like this and just kind of keep an eye out for them. Now you're going to be, it's going to be difficult. So the other option, what you can do is come to your home menu, come down to your system settings come down to system and then find this option that says zoom and this will be here just turn this on just make sure it's on so you, it'll be off normally when you come to it if you haven't toggled it on before just toggle it on come back into game and then what you can do is double tap your home button and that will allow you to zoom in even more so you can get your camera on and then zoom in a little bit further and you should be able to identify. Now the tips of the tad bulb tail are gonna be red. So that's what we're really looking for. The best way to get the further zoom in is turn your camera on and then double, double tap that home button to get that additional zoom. When there's no more spawning in here, what you wanna do is just run to the other side of this ledge and then, cause you can't set a picnic up here, unfortunately. And then you'll see them all despawn and you wanna just run back to this area again turn your camera on and then double tap your home button to get that extra zoom and you'll be able to just kind of see all the tad bulbs spawn in here and this is basically the method this is all you want to do to get tad bulb it is one of the more difficult shinies to get just because of how difficult it is to kind of spot them because it's only the tip of that tail that is a variation of the the color to the pokemon and like belly bolt which goes from green to yellow which is super easy to identify so it can be a little tricky to do but this is the method so this is all you would need to do just repeat this backwards and forwards take your camera off and you can see if you just run to the other side of the ledge they'll all despawn and then once they're despawned like that you want to just come back to the edge again 
put your camera on and then double tap your, your home button menu and then you can just sit and watch them spawn in and hope for that red tip tile bulb to appear and i think we've got the shiny there we go i think it's there so you want when you do get it be quite quick uh, you could drop a save shortly after because you don't want it to despawn that's the thing and you want to be yeah so we should be able to see it there yeah we should be able to see it there if we get the camera on we're going to be able to have a quick look and identify where it is just there there we go and there is the shiny so we do get it which is nice uh, we just need to try and encounter it now critical catch and there we go we've got the shiny tad bulb so this method is a very simple way to do it although it is a bit tedious because it's so difficult to kind of spot the shiny you definitely if you are paying attention you will definitely see it spawn in um, that took quite a long time so we don't have that long left on our shining power so you can make the most of it you can head back over to the other area if you've got a decent amount of time left just to see if you can spawn in another one because why not or if you've got a decent amount of time left then you could potentially go after another electric type because you've got that sparkling part active but like i say what you want to be doing is just coming back and forth to this i would suggest putting the zoom function on because it does definitely make it easier to spot the shinies when they do spawn in here it's just a case of just wait until no more start spawning in then if there's no shiny there just running to this side of the cliff here and then coming back and just kind of parking yourself getting your camera set up and that zoom in function on and just waiting for the shiny to spawn and that is it the shining power is done but we do get the one shiny tad bulb which is awesome to see and they're uh, really nice shiny as well because when you do evolve it you get a very cool one of probably the best shinies in the in the new games i would say because it's so obvious unlike some of the other ones that aren't so obvious but it does use the thunderstone to evolve tad bulb and when you do use it on tad bulb You'll be able to evolve it into belly bolt which is normally that green color but when you do evolve it in its shiny form you'll see that you get this beautiful specimen of a pokemon the yellow belly bolt which is just an amazing pokemon i love the shiny form of this pokemon probably one of my favorites like i say in the new games which is great so that is everything for today's video friends thank you so much for tuning in i hope you found this useful this can be quite difficult because they're hard to spot but if you use the techniques that we've used in this video the zoom and then the camera to try and identify the shiny when it spawns in it shouldn't be as difficult you're just going to have to concentrate on those areas but good luck shiny hunt and tad bulb to get yourself a shiny belly bolt in these games if this video has been helpful please drop a like do subscribe to the channel for more scarlet and violet content and i'll see you all in the next one so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye